Sydney's bikey scene is seeing another change as the mighty Hells Angels expand their presence in the city. The club has been making waves in recent weeks, with reports indicating that it is rapidly gaining members and establishing itself as a force to be reckoned with. According to the reports 81's expansion in Sydney is part of a broader strategy to increase its presence in major Australian cities. The club's leadership believes that Sydney offers a unique opportunity for outlaw business, given the extensive reach and scale of the city's criminal underworld network. The expansion started after the Angels established a new chapter named Hells Angels Bayside in Brighton Les Sands, once considered a Comanchero stronghold. Hells Angels also made significant strides in expanding their presence in Sydney by successfully converting an entire Sydney chapter of Rebels MC to their club. This was considered a significant success for the Hells Angels, as the Rebels have long been considered one of the largest and most powerful outlaw motorcycle clubs in the city. With this conversion, the Hells Angels have not only gained a significant number of new members but also weakened their rivals' stronghold in the area. Another significant event in the expansion of the Hells Angels in Sydney has recently been confirmed with the news that Jason Fahey, the Bendito's national president, has patched over to the 81s. This move is considered a major triumph for the Hells Angels, as Fahey is a well-known and influential figure in the Australian bikey community, having spent more than 10 years in leading the Benditos. According to reports, Fahey held significant power and influence within his club and had a reputation for using ruthless and often violent tactics to maintain his authority. His authority was also matched with his humor and wit. This combination of power, money, influence, and wit, has made Fahey legendary figure within the world of bikey clubs. Fahey declared his patching over when he posted an image of himself arm-in-arm -arm with senior Hells Angels members, this included Liverpool chapter boss Xi'an Jaburi and Far, signaling he had moved over to what was once considered an enemy of his former club. Fahey's decision to join the Hells Angels is expected to have a significant impact on other Bandito's bikies. He is a big name, and his move to the Hells Angels will likely inspire others to do the same. The Fahey brothers, Jason and John, were both prominent leaders of the Benditos Motorcycle Club at a national level, known for their fearsome reputations. The duo had established a strong presence in multiple territories across Australia, including Sydney, the Gold Coast, and the South Coast. However, in 2013, John Fahey defected to the rival 81s after spending 15 years with the Benditos. This caused a major rift with his former clubmates and led to bitter animosity between the two groups. Meanwhile and until now, Jason Fahey remained loyal to the Benditos, often showing his support for the club through social media posts and proudly sporting his gold chain with a fat Mexican gold pendant. Jason Fahey has a debt-collecting business and is well known to police. According to reports he was responsible for collecting drug debts, protection money, and loan shark debts for the club and his own business. He often acted as the muscle for the club using force influence and intimidation tactics to collect the unpaid dues. His role was often referred to as an enforcer or collector in the organized crime enterprise. The Hells Angels, one of the oldest in the world, traditionally has never had large numbers in Sydney like the Rebels, but was always considered one of the most powerful because of its links all over the world. It is the world's largest bikey club with almost 4,000 members across an estimated 475 chapters in more than 60 countries. Angelo Pandelli, the national president of the Hells Angels is still considered to be the club's boss despite leaving Australia several years ago and now believed to be living between Greece, Cyprus, and Dubai. Both police and underworld sources believe the Hells Angels are capitalizing on other clubs being vulnerable. In Sydney, Hells Angels have eight chapters or charters as they are called. These are Hells Angels Iron City, Hells Angels West Side, Angels Cobra Crew, Hells Angels Sydney, Hells Angels Inner Circle, Hells Angels Chinatown, Hells Angels Brutal South, and Bayside. In Australia's largest city, the 81s are taking advantage of other clubs who are not at their top game, for example, most of the top Comanchero kingpins and masterminds are in jail and the club is struggling for proper directions. The rebels have fallen away since Alex Vela got booted out to Malta and no one has been able to match his charisma and the Benditos are losing grip with low numbers and poor strength, their territory is rapidly diminishing. Likewise, the Lone Wolf are still out there but they don't have the cash, and have been sidetracked. 
after they lost their mastermind and Top Gun aircon Eric the Wolf Keskine. According to reports, New South Wales police are familiar about the dynamics of power within outlaw motorcycle clubs, including the recent changes in leadership and affiliations. Fahey's decision to publicly switch from the Benditos to the Hells Angels is noteworthy, and police are expected to pay close attention to him and his activities, as he is now a senior member of a rival club. Sydney police are likely to monitor Fahey's actions closely.